Hello viewers, welcome back. In this video, we are going straight to the key of G. You are on the scale of G. You have three major chords, which are your root G, the fourth chord on the scale, which is C, then the fifth chord, which is D. You have well. your middle finger, which holds two on the fifth string, which is your A. Then you have your ring finger, holding three on the sixth string which is your E then your pinky holds three again on the first string which is your high E so that is how your G call is so this is this is G and this is B this is G this is D this is B and this is G. Now for your C chord, you have this. your index finger, it's holding one on the second string, and your ring middle finger rather is holding two on the fourth string, then your ring finger holding three on the fifth string. So I come again, your index finger holds one on the B string, your middle finger holds two on the fourth string, which is the D string while your ring finger holds three on the fifth string which is your a string so this is your c chord you hold them tightly and hold them somewhat independently so as to get a very clear sound the first string sounds e then the second string sounds c the third string sounds g the fourth string sounding E and the fifth string sounding C as well. So this is your C chord. Now we're going straight to our next major chord, which is D. D is in the fifth position of the scale. On your scale of G, D is on the fifth position, and this is your major chord for D. Your ring finger holds two, holds three, sorry, on your B string. Then your middle finger holds two. On your E string your high E while your index finger holds two again on your G string which is the third string so coming again you have your ring finger holding three on your B string which is the second string then you have your middle finger holding two on your first string that's your high E then your index finger holds two again on your third string which is your G string so it makes this sound the very first string has this sound sound of F sharp. Why? Your second string has D sound. D sound. Then the third string has A sound. A sound. The fourth string, the fourth string rather, has, which is your, the fourth string, which is your D string, sounds D because an open string, nothing has been held there. Why your fifth string as well, open, so it's sounding A. Then your sixth string sounds. When I say any of the fingers is holding two, three, one, or whatever number, what I actually mean is this. These fret spaces is where the finger holds. So this is the very first space here. You can call it fret as well. This is the very first fret. This is the second fret, third fret, and the number goes on and on till it's exhausted in the neck. So index finger holding one or two means that you're putting it in, on the second on this second space here on the second fret here this second space so each of the numbers i called means that the finger is holding a fret space holding a string on that particular fret space so we're taking twinkle twinkle little star at our example song so since we're playing on the key of g the g chord is our root chord so here we go twinkle, twinkle, little star. something from it please send me your comments feedback and ask me any questions also don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you next time